guys enjoyed that little intro uh, just messing around just got my new shift boot this is an e46 uh, Alcantara shift boot uh, I couldn't find any for the e39 model and right now I just got this new shift boot and this is an old um, shift boot from my e39 uh, it's like an original one looks like this I just cut off the leather part I don't know if you guys can see that too well but I just cut off the shift uh, the boot and this is just uh, kind of just sitting there. There's no real fitment. And this one I hope will fix that. And pretty much what I'm going to do today is remove the frame off of this one. And we're going to put it onto the E39 one and make it look OEM. At least somewhat OEM. But yeah. So right now I'm going to go to the store, get some supplies. And uh, yeah. Let's get to it. Alright. So I just got the, the glue. This is what you need. Something that works with the fabric and plastic. Because the frame is plastic, and this is obviously some sort of fabric. Okay, cool. This is it, Loctite. It was like $3. And yeah, let's see how it works. Alright, so I messed up, and now it's a couple days later. I still haven't started. So yeah, let's, uh, let me show you guys what I got. What are you going to need to do all this? First off, you'll need your shift boot. Oops, I scratched the car. You're going to need this, Loctite, flexible adhesive, glue, and lastly, you're going to need a shift boot that you don't need, because that one's for an E46, and this is an E39, yeah, let me just struggle to take this off, there you go, and then just take this out, and then yeah, let's get to it. Okay, so I'm a little unprepared, as usual. But, what you're going to need are some clamps, I found these binder clip things, and yeah, mess around with these. So pretty much what we're going to do is, is remove this from the this trim, put it onto here, add some glue, and then pretty much just do that all around for like the whole perimeter. And then yeah, the glue should set and it should be good to go. So yeah, I'm going to set you guys on a tripod and then we'll get started. Okay, so now you guys can see that I've got both of the, the boots off. Sorry about that. Both, both of the boots off each bezel. And this is the M5 one. This is the one from the E46. So it was on here. And now we're going to transfer it onto here. You're going to have to do some stretching, I'm pretty sure. I've never done this. I've done it on my E30, but not on this. So I don't know how the fitment's going to be, but you know, we'll figure it out. Okay, now you guys saw me struggle with that. It wasn't even that much of a struggle, I'll be honest. You just got to persuade it a little bit, and then it'll fit. Um, I'm going to mess with the like how far I want to pull it out right here, you guys can see. See it pulls out too much? I'm going to pull it in and then yeah, we'll start gluing it. Okay, now I got it to where I wanted it. I got all the edges as close, you know, as high up as I want them. Otherwise, it's going to start slipping off. So next, you get your Loctite or whatever, whatever you picked. It just has to be plastic and fabric compatible and then I wish they would have gave me a nozzle with this but it'll get a little messy you just want to put it into the crevices and then go all around and then next we're going to get all these little clips anything that has tension on it you want to just hold it there like all around and then yeah let it dry for about 30 minutes and then pop it in the car and good to go
Okay, so I got all the clamps on, but obviously I'm short. Like, I wish I had like one more clamp. I think it would have been okay. But, I mean, once you get it in the car, the glue's gonna set either way. And it'll just press all together. It'll be a tight fit. Because I think this this material is thicker than this, so it'll, it'll definitely press together. By the way, if anyone needs this, I don't know why you would, but it's from an M5. If you need one, hit me up. And then this one, also hit me up if you need one for an E46. Never been used. So yeah, I mean, you can, you can obviously just do this. But, do what you want. Just message me or leave a comment down below. And then I'll get back to you. So, it looks like it's, it looks like it's all right. It's been 30 minutes. Pick up all the clamps now. It should be good to just pop in and then the glue will set even more within the next 24 hours or so. So yeah, it's not fully cured, but you know, it's enough to, to pop it in there. And as you guys can see, it's like, it kind of overlaps on the clip. But I mean, that's, if you want to cut it, you can cut it with the, with the blade. I don't really care. I mean, if it affects the fitment, I might. But I'm gonna give it a shot anyways. Moment of truth. Let's see. So it looks like it's fitting all right so far. Actually, it looks like it kind of fills in the gaps better than the original one. Like around the edges. Once you get that in there, tuck those in, get the shift knob. Wow, that's actually pretty nice. Better than I expected. Try to focus that edge. Look at that. Looks all right. It's not looking too bad. Wow, this is not bad for what took me 20, 20 minutes. And then you got to wait 30 for it to dry, and there you go. I got this little white spot. It's glue. I'll I'll get it off. It's not too hard. And before I end off the video, I'm gonna give you guys some before and after shots. And once again, thanks for watching, and subscribe if you liked it. If you didn't, um, leave a dislike. Yeah, you know all that good stuff. So yeah, peace.